arriving in the heart of town at the Grand Canal with the Rialto Bridge in the background. A postcard come to life. We're riding along on the Vaporetto, that's the water bus that takes you through the heart of town along the Grand Canal. Convenient way to get from one end of town to the other. We've just arrived and then on to our walk. We go visit the Church of the Frari. A couple of important artworks inside the Frari. Wonderful triptych by Bellini. There's Titian's Assumption of the Virgin. You've got works by Viverini and Donatello and a wonderful old church of the Frari. And then we continue along into a real local space. This is the Piazza Santa Margarita. And the locals are out in force today. The kids just got out of school and they're out to blow off some steam and have some fun. You don't see too many tourists walking around over in this part of town. We're pretty far to the west. We're beyond the Grand Canal now, just below the Church of the Frari. It's Campo Santa Margarita. Campo meaning field, because in the old days it would have been a grass field. And continuing through those little narrow alleyways that wander along, just follow your nose, follow the locals. You can't get too lost in Venice. It's part of the fun. And then we get to the Academia Bridge. This is a wooden bridge that crosses the Grand Canal, one of only three bridges across the Grand Canal. And from here, there's a spectacular view looking towards the church of Santa Maria della Salute in the distance with its great dome, its great Baroque dome towering over the Grand Canal. The canal lined with former palaces on both sides. There's some hotels and private residences along the Grand Canal nowadays. Another trip by Vaporetto. Just hop on, you buy your ticket before you get on. The locals all have monthly bus passes. They use it for commuting, for just general transportation, since there are no rubber tire buses in the city. You can only get around by walking or by boat. You can tell there's not many tourists on this Vaporetto because we're heading east. We're going off in the direction, passing the Customs House towards the Giardini, the gardens. And in that neighborhood, it was wash day on a Monday. People like to hang their laundry out. So that makes for a little added bonbon when you're walking along and enjoying the sights of these old buildings and the narrow alleys and to look up and see the colorful laundry hanging from the clotheslines. We've arrived at the Castello Gardens, which is the scene of the Biennale. It's a special art exhibit that's held once every two years. And it has some really avant-garde stuff, some weird, wild, creative works here. This is 21st century cutting edge stuff. You have a big display of pills for pill poppers or a commentary on something about modern medicine, perhaps. Who knows? These are different kinds of works that you wouldn't normally find in a museum or in a home on display. This is something special. Here's an installation created just for the show, it's a whole room filled with walls of aluminum foil and little scraps and notes stuck on the wall. Another expression of the Biennale, it's ultra avant-garde contemporary works. And yet this exhibit has been happening every two years for the last hundred years. It's quite an event. So if you're in Venice when the Biennale is on, it's worth going out to the gardens to have a look. Walking through the Piazzetta now, we're walking around the corner from the main Piazza San Marco, having a quick peek inside the Daniele Hotel, a former Gothic palace of one of the doges. Walking along with our guide Daniela into some of the churches, looking at another painting by Bellini, and then on to the glass factory for a demonstration of how they blow glass in Venice. It's been a 
traditional trade here for many centuries. And still today, it's one of the great souvenirs to bring home from Venice, some hand-blown glass. You could get a pitcher, some drinking glasses, perhaps a flower vase, chandeliers, and it's all made right in Venice, mostly on the island of Murano. Well, it looks like it's time for us to leave. We're on the Vaporetto. We're approaching the train station now, the Ferrovia, and departing Venice. We've had a great visit. We stayed for two days and two nights right in the heart of town. 